Hey guys, it's Aviana again with Walter's Vault, and we're going to be talking about techniques. I go to different coaches, different gyms, get to hear different things. I love coaching. It is so much fun. And I love listening in because you get to hear all the different techniques. When I'm injured, I like to go to practice to listen and watch. You get to learn a lot. Here are my techniques. Starting off with stepping back. I like to hold my pole. I have a stubby. I will be right back with that stubby. Okay, back to making a video. Alrighty, buds. I could not find my pole vault stubby. My necklace just came off. Fixed it. Okay. I could not find my pole vault stubby, so I'm going to use a broom instead to show you my technique. I like to start in the back with my pole up very high, right here on my hip, and I hold this up, and I don't like to grip it too tight either spots. And I like to put it here, keep the pole, keep my body straight, and the pole will be diagonal. But I'll run, run, and slowly it'll fall and get it up. It works out. And hardly let it touch here. Right in between my fingers, I let it rest. Step back, run, and just bounce. Bounce my shoulders. Next, I like to let the pole fall from one, two, three. And that's your plant. I know a lot of people like to do the kind of gripping, you know, there's the choke hold, a lot of people hit it, choke hold, or a lot of people try to pull, and neither of those are going to get you going up, and which way do we want to go? Up. So I like to get my hands and press towards the sky, as if there's something up there I want to reach, like a puppy or a jeep. A puppy in a jeep. I pretend that there's a puppy in a jeep in the sky that I'm trying to reach for. I press up as high as I can and try to reach it as best as I can and extend my shoulders and extend my hands up towards the sky and reach for it. We call it a big boy jump because the big boys get their hands up and they press through. That would be my second helpful tip. Third, I like the idea of not looking at the bar, that's a no. A yes would be to look this way when you're going upside down. You wanna lose sight of the bar because if you're staring at the bar, you're gonna go straight into it. That's not the goal in pole vault. You wanna go up and over, not straight into it. Though we've all done it before. You've gotta get your feet past where you took off. So my goal when I jump is from where I take off, I wanna take off, get inverted and get my feet past there. Stay here, coil up, and the pole will release you and send you flying upwards, but you've got to keep your toes, everything facing this side of the runway, away from the bar, so you'll go upside down, you know, fling you up, and you go up and over the bar. Back to the back half of the vault. When you start off, you don't sprint out like a rocket. That is a no-go. You wanna take your step back or however you start. I like to take one step back and go, but however you start, get ready and take a step and slowly get into it. You know, it goes like, take off. You've gotta go slow, medium, fast, but not slow, just slower than a full sprint, but still powerful. Gotta get all the power. So powerful, medium, fast as you can, up in the air, PR once again. Before I jump at any meet or even in practice, because I like to pretend that practices are meets so you can get into the mental game, I like to envision myself going over the bar and clearing it beautifully. And I like to imagine how that would feel. I get behind there and I stand with my pole like this. I'm looking at the runway. I'm, I try to ignore the bar so I don't look at it and notice how high up it is. I just stare at the other side of the pit and I focus on that. And I look at my family or my friends or whoever there is supporting me. I look out and I remember, okay, this is a track meet. I'm okay. It's gonna come to an end. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna rest. All will be well. And then I close my eyes 
I take a deep breath. I imagine what it would feel like and look like to clear the bar and how it's gonna feel when I clear it. And then I try to just block everything out, stay calm, pick up my pole, take my step back and go for it. Set the fire, clear the bar, PR once again, you did it. So those are a couple of my techniques. Hope you can use some. I get them from my gym. I love my gym, I love my coaches. I trust them with all my heart. I would recommend you listen to them too, <laughs> they're great. Hope you liked my video. If you did, like and subscribe down below. Comment some techniques that you've learned from your gym, your school, or that you've picked up on your own and you think it could help us. So, thanks for watching. I need to show you Muppet real fast. Go vault high, go PR, and go have fun.